anyone seen my oscilloscope pen? <laughs> beep! Weep! Beep! Cece! Where did you get that? You're gonna ruin it. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Here. <laughs> she didn't mean to upset you, Frankie. <sighs> I know. She's just learning by exploring her environment. It's a sign of genius. I don't believe I tried to eat my first oscilloscope until I was four. <laughs> Incredible. I've never seen a child grasp sequencing that fast. Both of our daughters are growing up to be quite accomplished. Quite right. How's the travel mug heart monitor coming, Frankie? <gasps> Amazing. I built an electrocardiogram into the handle so you can actually see what a jolt your coffee gives you. My data shows... <laughs> I'll tell you later, Dad. Hey, Frankie, what's up? Oh, Cece tried to eat my equipment again and ruined breakfast. It's so frustrating. I love her, but sometimes she's really hard to like. I totally understand. I grew up with Cage, remember? Where are you? With Blades. He's racing Heat Wave to see who's a faster rescuer. And losing Blades Hustle. I am. Whose idea was it to do this in bot mode? Someone said I could run circles around you, Heat Wave. I didn't mean run, run. There's a target. Go straight. Nope, we're going up. Frankie, can I call you back? Look out! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's a little homework in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Cullen is not going to be happy. Neither will Chief. We have to stop that rocket. Heatwave, the fire's spreading. Use your foam sprayers. I didn't load up before we left. This was only supposed to be a fake emergency. We need to evacuate those houses and call for backup. And move the rocket before it catches fire and explodes. That I can do. Everyone get to safety. Help is already on the way. Remember, children, public safety is in your hands, so make sure you wash them thoroughly. Oh, pardon me, pupils. This is Chase. Go ahead. There's a rocket fuel fire at Mr. Collins' house. We need fire extinguishers fast. Copy that. My apologies. I must cut my career day presentation short. Three hours barely touches the surface of law enforcement. Thank goodness. Oh, Okie dokie. Now that everyone has read A Tale of Two Cities, who would like to start the discussion? Mr. Boulder, we ask that everyone turn their phones off during book club, if you please. Sorry, Miss Lima. I'll be quick. Boulder, where are you? We've got an emergency downtown. It was the best of timing. It was the worst of timing. Be right there, Heatwave. Keep away from the fire. Away. I think people would know that. Heatwave, I have supplies. Power up and energize. At least 
the fires out. But at what cost? Not our finest hour. I guess I shouldn't ask who won the rescue race, huh? No. Thanks to us, everybody lost. Let me get this straight. You set up a race downtown in the middle of the day to show your fan clubs who's a faster rescuer? When you say it out loud, it really sounds like a bad idea. Look, I know you're excited to fit in with the townsfolk, but that doesn't mean neglecting your rescue duties. It's fine to have hobbies, we all do, but the job comes first. Sorry, Chief. We'll clean up the damage, and it won't happen again. Thank you, Heatwave. Don't feel bad, guys. Balancing a social life and a job is even hard for humans. Well, it won't be a problem for us, because from now on, we're only focusing on our mission. To learn from the humans? <sighs> to protect them, and train other rescue bots to do it, too. Boulder? Have you figured out what's wrong with the new ground bridge yet? No. Doc's coming to look at it when I'm done with book club. I mean, uh, I'll call him now. I don't understand it. All the settings are correct. This device should go straight to the mainland. Maybe we should try to replicate what went wrong last time. All we did was turn it on. Here goes. Wait, who knows where that portal leads to? Let's send someone more expendable. Go dither. Host? Uh, maybe later. Go through there. Now, let's see what Dither sees. He's at the mainland training center. Dither, come back. It worked. Maybe we'd better give it a few more tries, just in case. You heard the bot, Dither. He went to the right place every time. Perhaps the desert incident was simply a one-time bot. And not the good kind, like a honeybee. I'll let the team know. Hey, Frankie, the ground bridge is working again. Want to come see? Wish I could, but I'm babysitting. Bye-bye. Oh, Cece, why can't you play with your toys? Oh, you better thank your brothers and sister for what they had to put up with when you were little. If you're sure the bridge is ready, I'll test it out. From what we've observed, there's a 99.9% .9 chance it'll work. And a 0.1% chance it won't. I'm just saying. Then I too shall be a guinea hog. It's guinea pig, Chase. But good idea for two of you to go. Rescue bots. Roll to the mainland. Or perhaps not Maine at all. Ah! Those rails will not hold that car much longer. Then we save lives now and explain later. As my fellow robot said, that is correct. Chase, why are you talking like... Someone followed the bots through the portal. Hello, I'm Police Chief Burns. I know it sounds strange, but I think our technology accidentally brought you here. Uh, why don't you step outside? Hello? Hello? By Mendel's pea pods. There's nobody there. The driver must have exited his vehicle to assist with the rescue. Then the bridge pulled the car in after us. 
like the camel from the desert. Only we can't take this to the zoo. What do we do with it? I'll see if I can find the owner from the plate records. For now, I don't want anybody using this tech till we know what's wrong. If you need to go to the mainland, use the ferry. There's plenty to keep us busy here, like rescue drills in the garage. Let's go. Oh. It's time to get serious about our jobs. From now on, we only leave this place for emergencies. I guess we could start our own book club here at the firehouse. You'll be lucky if you have time to read anything. From now on, we're doing double patrols. Outstanding. Thank Primus for DVR. Everyone, grab a lobbing ball. We're doing burpees. Heat wave. This is the 20th time I've flown around the island. There are no emergencies. Then fly around 21 times. We're not going back to the firehouse until we find one. Boulder, report. Any action in your part of town? Nothing. I even went to fix a leaky fire hydrant on Chestnut, but somebody already had. It is surprisingly quiet out. Even Don is obeying the speed limit. Keep patrolling. It's Griffin Rock. Something's bound to happen soon. <sighs> Thanks for keeping me company, Cody. Babysitting can be kind of stressful. No problem, Frankie. It sounded like you could use a break. Oh, definitely. I am so over diaper changing. But CC can be fun sometimes, too. Yesterday, I taught her the twos times tables. Seriously? CC, what's two times five? Wow, she really is a baby genius. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to teach her multivariable calculus. Did you see that? Yeah. Whoever's driving that sports car is pretty brave. That's the thing. Last time I saw that car, it didn't have a driver. Griffin Rock Emergency. Graham, can you check if the car that came through the ground bridge is still there? Where else would it be? I think we just saw it downtown. Hold on, I'll check. You were right, the car's gone. Someone must have stolen it. At least they haven't left the island yet. I'll call Dad. Heatwave, I have spotted a vehicle that is double parked. Now that's an emergency. At this point, it kind of is. Nice find, Chase. Take care of it. The sports car from the bridge. What? It's there? And it has beaten me to the sugary fruit drink. Don't let it leave. We're coming. Thank you for your assistance, citizen. Please pull over. Cold turkey. I suspect foul play. Get back to the firehouse team. Our ground bridge stowaway is missing and I want answers. I checked our security cameras. Nobody entered or left the firehouse last night. Uh, except the car. Somebody must have driven it out of one of the underground tunnels. That wouldn't show up on camera. But I thought you said there was no one inside of it. Not when we looked, but maybe they were hiding. Or maybe the car is remote controlled. What if it's Dr. Morocco? Quick, everyone look for an M logo somewhere. Why would Morocco move double parked cars? So far, this driver's only done good things. Except run away when told to stop, and hide from us, and spy long enough to learn our secret. I want everyone out looking for that car. Something strange is going on and- Dad, we really need your help. What is it, son? Cece figured out how to reprogram her hover stroller, and we don't know where she went. Cece! 
Tell Frankie not to worry. We'll find her sister right away. Thanks, Dad. We'll keep looking, too. Uh, Cece's too smart for her own good. I should have been more careful. Wait! Frankie, I see her. She's headed into the bank. Can you open the vault? Oh no! Security mode is engaged! Doc Green designed the lock so that nobody can override it! Daddy, Cece hacked her stroller and locked herself in the bank vault. We can't get her out. I'm really, really sorry. I know you are, Frankie. And it's not your fault. But how did she learn the lock code in the first place? I made it a very difficult pattern of colors and sounds. The same pattern you used when you created Cece's toy? Uh, oh my. I believe the scientific term for that is oops. Don't worry, Doc. Help just got here. Hurry, she's in there. You have to break down the door. Time to embrace your inner wreckers. On three. Three. Power up and energize! I have heard an Earth tale about a door that unlocked when told, Open Sesame. Open says me! Cece? Cece! Where is she? Look! Cece must have gone out that way. She can dig tunnels, too? That may be smart and strong. No toddler cut through five feet of solid metal. Ow! It's still hot. Boulder, can you tell where the tunnel ends? Of course, Chief. <laughs> it's the parking garage on Maple Street. Blades, heat wave. I want you guarding that place above ground. Boulder, you're with me and Chase. Let's move, team. Did you hear all that, Doc? We'll meet you there. We're in place, Dad. Head in slowly. We're just about to come through the tunnel. Well, well. Two mysteries meeting in the same place. Wait. You think Cece's in that car? But why? How? I just have a hunch. Odd. I've always thought Chief has excellent posture. <laughs> Cece! Oh, I'm never letting you out of my sight again, even if you ruin a hundred of my experiments. You're the best result I could hope for. I guess it's a pink kid. Come on, let's go see Mom and Dad. But who made the tunnel? And how did Cece get in that car? And where can I get one? What? Those are some sweet wheels. Too bad the driver got away before we could question him. What if the car is the driver. You mean, like a bot? Please, don't you think we'd know if we saw one? We all have pretty obvious markings. I'm Heatwave, leader of the rescue bots. Identify yourself. I'm waiting. Wait, what? Rescue bots? What a highly unexpected oh, no. turn of events. A marking. Now will you identify yourself? You may call me Quick Shadow. So you're Heat Wave. Hmm. Expected someone a little taller. You might want to shut those gobs. I hear this place has flobsters. Wouldn't want one flying right in, would we? Quick Shadow, I'm Chief Burns. Welcome to Griffin Rock. My only question is, why didn't you introduce yourself to us sooner? Not that we mind your help with the rescue. Sorry if I stepped on any toes. I was monitoring your town's cameras. When I saw the little girl get trapped, I had to act. As you did when you saw the car go over the bridge. It's what I do. I'm a solo agent, special ops, and used to working undercover, I'm afraid. I wanted to learn more about you all before I met you, even though Optimus said... You know Optimus too? Why didn't he tell us that? You know how primes are. He's the one who sent me here. Sent you? 
From what I saw, you hitched a ride on our ground bridge. Yes, I called it to me. Apologies for the dreadful places we kept meeting. The desert, especially. I thought I saw you there. Wait, you're the reason the ground bridge didn't work? Oh, it worked. I simply hijacked it whenever I could. Special tech Optimus loaned me. Yeah, I bet. Which is exactly why Optimus didn't just tell us about you. Ah, sarcasm. You'd be Cade, then. You know who we are? It was all part of my mission briefing. And what exactly is your mission? That is a tale in the telling. Well, as comfortable as this parking garage is, what do you say we head back to the firehouse? Sounds like this is gonna take a long time to sort out. Guess she doesn't need directions. You wanna ride with us, Cody? I'll meet you at home, Dad. So, maybe baby sisters or brothers aren't so bad? Ask me again when I'm picking cream corn out of my hair. <laughs> it's true. Cece has been quite a change for our family. But that doesn't modify our love for you. DNA of my heart? I know, Daddy. That's what it means to be a family. Plus the second law of thermodynamics. The entropy of the universe tends to a maximum. Um, that is, change is constant. I'm pretty sure the rescue bots would agree. 